Good evening. Our top story for you this hour. Palestinian leaders have been meeting uh, this Monday evening to carve out a response to President Trump's decision to declare Jerusalem the capital of Israel. We've heard that those leaders have now urged the Palestinian Liberation Organization to suspend the recognition of Israel. Trump's announcement on Jerusalem not only reverses decades of U.S. foreign policy, but has, of course, infuriated Palestinians who've long believed East Jerusalem should be the capital of their eventual state. Well, in a fiery two-hour speech yesterday evening, Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas called Trump's peace efforts so far the slap of the century and warned Palestinians would slap back. Well, to talk a little bit more about this story, I spoke earlier on to our Jerusalem correspondent, Iris Makler. I asked her if we have any sense of what suspending the recognition of Israel might mean in practice. We know that this is a recommendation that came from the Palestinian Central Council and it's being directed to the PLO itself, to the, to the um, umbrella group, to the whole body. But it's not clear, and what they are recommending, before I go on to a great sense of it, what they are recommending is a suspension of the recognition of Israel. Um, and until Israel recognises the state of Palestine, cancels its annexation of East Jerusalem and stops its settlement activity in the West Bank. So all of those things together, it seems, uh, are the response. But it's not clear if this quite wide-ranging wide response is actually binding. So this response goes back to the PLO. The decision will ultimately be made by the president. A previous decision... A similar recommendation by this committee in 2015 to stop security cooperation with Israel was not binding. So at the moment tonight, it's not clear to me if this is binding uh, and if in the end we are going to see the, um, the suspension of the recognition of Israel, which, it, you know, Palestinians would pay a, pay a price internationally because it actually is the foundation of the end of the enmity and the beginning of some reconciliation between the two sides that led at least to the Oslo Accords and that led to a, to a real difference and a real change in the way the two sides dealt with each other. So are we seeing the end of that tonight? It's not clear at the moment. Iris Mackler there talking to us from Jerusalem.